Hello, everybody. It is Mike Levin on Wednesday, February 10th, 2021. And I am settling into a new machine here. And I have set up my virtual desktops with a journal on screen one, which I have been uh, doing stuff today in prior videos, such as setting up the journal, hiding the clock. And now I'm going to take care of an annoying little issue. You see here, I'm in Notepad. And over here on this next screen, I'm in Edge. And here's my Edge icon. And here's my Notepad icon. And even though I'm using these wonderful full screen apps, or using these apps in their full screen mode, I should be able to still switch between them in the taskbar. It doesn't make sense to me that each taskbar should kind of be isolated to only the apps that are running on its screen. So that is, of course, settings. We'll go to here just to get rid of as much distraction as possible. And we bring up settings in the awesome new way. It is always easily accessible. That's one of my favorite things now about Windows 10 settings. You can pull up easy. It's also easy to use the search tool to find your uh, setting you're looking for, but I find it better to drill in to kind of show you uh, where this conceptually lives. This happens to be something that's under system and then multitasking. And it's pretty easy, virtual desktops under multitasking. On the taskbar, on the taskbar, show windows that are open on only the desktop I'm using. That's not what I want. I want all desktops and voila, up appears the icons for things on all the different desktops. So it doesn't matter which one it's running on. You can use your taskbar to switch between them. And that is the subject of this video. If you don't use virtual screens to get around, get around, I get around, you should be. These ribbons are the same on basically all mainstream popular operating systems and even the non-mainstream ones. If you use Plasma KDE or Ubuntu or anything GNOME based, you've got those uh, same ribbon of desktops. Uh, sometimes they make a Y position too, and you can have a grid X by Y. Uh, most of the mainstream platforms had settled into the standard now for left to right ribbons where you can add more. And to switch between them, it's control windows key, which does a really competent job. That's gotten into my finger now as habits. It's very similar on the uh, Macintosh. However, the Macintosh comes with this uh, finger swoosh to switch between virtual screens. Windows has that swoosh only switching between apps that are on your screen. So you could change that. So pressing Alt-Tab, which is the same as the three finger swoosh, opens all apps that are on all desktops. So you can see right now, I've probably changed the three finger swoosh to switching between the apps, and that's pretty good. Here's the journal. I can use three finger swoosh to switch to uh, the browser, but this still doesn't make sense to me. I want the three finger swoosh to switch between actual screens because I know what apps are running on which screen, so I want this uh, relative position, uh, easy to hop around thing. And maybe I'll get that into this video just as a um, uh, bonus. It also is going to, of course, be under settings, which we can switch to by just clicking it. Make a liar out of me, will you? Why can't I reach settings? There it is over there. Anywho, we are going to go into uh, home. And this is devices. And under devices, we've got touchpad. I say trackpad all the time, but it's really touchpad. And now there's your three fingers. When you do the three finger swoosh, instead of switch apps and show desktop, you switch desktops and show desktop. Is there an apply? No, there's not. This should just be active there. Look at that. So whereas the keyboard one has this really well chosen predetermined speed. I like it. I like using the uh, the keyboard shortcut. It's a well-chosen speed, very satisfying screen switching effect, right? You can also use the three finger swoosh now and be completely in deliberate control over it, which is the way Macs are. 
and it really will make you fall in love with virtual screens. A three finger swoosh to get between your full screen apps. Imagine that. And we can move a couple of things into our um, done. And I'm almost there. I'm almost there in uh, setting up uh, my machine. I just have a few things left, like turning off this notifications thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, another search thing. And the final bonus. I hate these top apps here. And I was thinking of making each little thing its separate video, but I'll just throw in a few bonuses. When I start to search for something, which is fine, uh, I don't like all this recent and quick searches and top apps and switching between data types. I mean, I get it. It's nice for some people, but when you know what you're doing and you don't want the operating system to be so intrusive stepping in and helping you, you can uh, right click on search and just go search hidden. You're like, oh, well, you've searched, you, you've hidden search. Well, you can load any app by just clicking on here and st start typing it. I hit N for notepad. I can do WordPad, anything you know on the system, you can just bring up by clicking the start bar and starting to type it. It's got a little search in the uh, bottom of the search bar. So having that big search bar, super redundant, uh, very distracting, and we continue our movement towards uh, full screen focus and getting the operating system to just move out of the way for you and be just a lightweight shim to getting to either the web browser or what will be here soon, a full screen terminal to Ubuntu. I'll probably do 20.01, the latest long uh, term uh, release uh, that I believe uh, is under uh, in the web store now. But I'll wrap that up. I got a meeting I got to hop on to not that I can see the clock in the lower right. But, you know, it's all about balancing. Uh, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again soon. And don't forget to subscribe.